Welcome back, and let's talk makeup brushes. Probably two years ago, a friend of mine asked, what are your favorite makeup brushes? Well, I've finally gotten around to do that. So here we go. Let's try to go in some semblance of order. First one, this is the Real Techniques powder brush. It's one of the least expensive big powder brushes that I have found that is also soft. You can find this at Ulta and use your coupons. I've also seen them in other drugstores now. This one was so fantastic when I bought it that I bought another one because we need to, right? And this one also works as a microphone because don't you break out in song when you do your makeup? Is it just me? All right another face brush. And these brushes are dirty. They are my everyday makeup brushes and it's not wash day yet. So no nasty comments. This is a oval paddle brush that I got in a set on Groupon. I think the entire set was about $30, $35, maybe less. I think I had a coupon code. If you see these, these are wonderful. This is a time saver. You can put on BB creams, liquid foundations in a snap with this. It just very quickly, you can get it under your eye, around your nose, under your nose. I love this brush. And there are are a couple that came in the set that I really like as well. This brush is a multi-purpose brush. I have two of them. They came in a set and there's a chance that I've had this one for almost 15 years, which is incredible because I'm 18. This is the e.l.f. complexion brush. This one is great for face powder, for blush, for soft contouring. It's also great for travel because it's it's wee. I mean, look at the difference in size. This one is always in my travel bag and I'm not gonna talk about it much more because Elf doesn't make it and they haven't made it for a decade, but I really wish they would bring it back. Another brush that I adore is the Wet n Wild Angled Brush. Wet n Wild came out with these, I wanna say six months to a year ago. They are phenomenal. They are inexpensive. And when I say inexpensive on this one, I mean cheap, but not cheaply made. This one is so soft. They, every single one of them is so soft. And at Walmart, they are anywhere from, I think, 84 cents for a eye brush to, I don't think this was more than $3. So go get some. Every single one, I have the flat kabuki brush. I have several eye brushes. They're fantastic. And this one is perfect for a little more of a sharp contour, but you can also turn it sideways and buff it out. I also like this one for blush. And speaking of blush brushes, is a another Real Techniques, and this is the blush brush. At first, this brush, we was in a fight, like a really big fight. I was like, why did I buy you? And then we fell in love. I don't know why we didn't like each other in the beginning, but we just didn't. But now this is a great brush, no matter if you have a very pigmented blush or one that you can go in a couple times with, but it's just, I know it's weird to say responsive when it comes to the bris bristles, but they are. And the shape lets you, if you use just the top, you can get a, a more precise application or you can use it as a big fluffy brush too. Got this one at Ulta as well. My favorite contour brush comes from e.l.f. And this is, the blending brush. I think it was actually called the ultimate blending brush, but I use this one for contouring right underneath. And I also like the fact that it's very wide, that if it gets too sharp, I can also flip it over and blend it out. And it works incredibly well if you want a shallow, not like a deep contour of the forehead. Really interesting brush. And I think it's $6. Elf and Wet n Wild make my best and favoritest budget brushes. This is the Elf Blush Brush, but I don't use it for blush. I use it for highlighting because it has this angled shape. It's hard to see, but it's a triangle right here and it's a, a shallower triangle 
when you hold it sideways. And this angle sits perfectly on the top of your cheekbone and right here too. But this one I think was three or four dollars. And a, another Real Techniques brush. This is their Deluxe Crease Brush. I use it for concealer. It fits perfectly right in here and around the nose, the edges of the mouth. That's what I use this for. I don't think I've ever used it as a crease brush because A, I don't have one, and B, there are crease brushes that I like better for that job. So this, for concealer, is bum diggity. Did I just say bum diggity? Speaking of crease brushes, this is the Morphe M441. It's a natural goat hair brush and as you can see I use it. I use it a lot. I have two of these. They also have kind of a graduated bristle pattern at the top which makes it very easy to get into the crease and I really don't have one so I have to fake one. It's not the softest brush but it blends eyeshadow like a dream and I can forgive a little bit of roughness for some really good eye makeup. That didn't sound right either. So the Morphe M441 is a staple and I think this is under $5. I have two favorite pencil brushes, blending brushes. The first one is e.l.f. that looks a lot like this one and it's a dollar. The white handled e.l.f. brushes are really good. Their eye brushes are really, really good. And this one I got in a boxy charm and it is the Modern Minerals brush. It's very, very stiff, but very soft and does an amazing job of smudging out eyeliner and shadows underneath the eye and above the eye. And my last blending eye brush is the Luxie 205. And this also blends eyeshadow out like a dream. It, they call it the tapered blending brush. And it is. It's tapered on, I don't know if you're able to tell. There you go. On one side, it has a slight taper. And it fits beautifully right in the, into the socket of the eye. And Luxie brushes, not only are they adorable pink and have a rose gold ferrule, they are incredibly soft and I've gotten quite a few from BoxyCharm that I absolutely love. And there's one more bonus tool, eyelash curler. If you don't have one, you should. Don't be scared of them. I can even do it without a mirror. I'm like two feet away from the camera. So see, look at the difference. I have a comb. Shut up. You should get one of these. You should make friends with it. Don't fear it. It's one of the best things to keep your lashes up is to tell them to do it and an eyelash curler will help you get there. This one is from Tarte. It was a special edition one. It had a snake charm on it, but it was so good that my mom used it and bought one for herself. There you go. There's my top 10 brushes and a bonus item. Tell me what your favorite brushes are because you know, because I love makeup brushes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Hope you have a great day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.